confusing. Oh, hi friends. You must be thinking what I am so confused about, right? Actually, recently if someone asked me, Didi, I have just passed my class 12 and I am very much interested in life science. But I am confused which subject to choose, microbiology or biotechnology. What? You are also asking the same question. Then this video is just for you. When you should choose biotechnology? To answer this question, first ask yourself. Are you interested in gaining knowledge about and producing various biological products? Would you like to apply your molecular biology knowledge to develop new pharmaceuticals or biofuels? Does conducting research in a laboratory appeal to you? Do you want to become an entrepreneur in future? The course of biotechnology drives with a vision of heal the world, fuel the world and feed the world. It is a unique interdisciplinary subject with a combination of basic and applied science in the field of biology, mathematics, chemistry and physics. With the rapid growth in world population, biotechnology is an important solution for the challenges of food and nutritional requirements, diagnosis and treatment of diseases as well as fuel needs. Studying biotechnology has the advantage of covering several different disciplines like general biochemistry, genetics, microbiology, molecular biology, etc. The knowledge in these different disciplines nurtures the mind of biotechnologists for innovations. The subjects like animal biotechnology, nanobiotechnology and microbial biotechnology are useful to learn the techniques for designing new targeted drugs in plant biotechnology, genetically modified plants developed in labs can empower mankind for increased production of highly nutritious food fermentation technology of microbes in the production of biofuels like alcohol and biohydrogen. In order to study biotechnology, you can opt for either BSc Biotechnology or BTech Biotechnology. A graduate in biotechnology can then do his or her masters either in biotechnology itself or in any of the wide range of subjects like bioinformatics, immunology, cancer biology, genetics, biochemistry, microbiology, public health, etc. When you should choose microbiology? For that, ask yourself, Are you fascinated by tiny microbes and how they are interacting with us at every second of our life? Would you like to apply your basic biology knowledge to develop new probiotics or antibiotics? Does conducting research on vaccines appeal to you? Do you want to clean the garbage and make this environment more beautiful with the help of microbes? Microbiology is an interdisciplinary subject that studies interactions of microorganisms with other organisms and human beings. Although we cannot see them with our naked eyes, they are always present around us and they affect our lives in a number of ways. Not all microbes are harmful for us. Some can be really beneficial and sometimes even essential. The role of microbiologists is to study these microbes and come up with ways to use the beneficial ones and inhibit or destroy the harmful ones. Their perseverance is actually responsible for development of green technologies, generation of ways to treat and prevent diseases among others. Microbiologists work in many different job areas in a variety of job roles. Microbiologists can make career in research and even non-research fields. In microbiology, some major courses are biochemistry, microbial genetics, molecular biology, virology, immunology, industrial microbiology, 
environmental microbiology, agricultural microbiology, and evolutionary microbiology. To become a microbiologist, you have to choose BSc microbiology, and after your graduation, you can do your masters in microbiology, but you can also choose other subjects such as biotechnology, biochemistry, food technology, bioinformatics, genetics, molecular biology, computational biology, etc. So now you can see both the subjects have equally good job prospects and comparable salary packages. So it is now up to you to decide which subject interests you, which subject you would like to study. Hope all these informations have solved your problem and removed all confusion from your mind. See you soon in our next episode the link of which is given in the description box below.